So this is all great news, both creatively and financially. And as we saw in that report, people like to get their creativity and keep it homegrown. For example, Framestore like to find all their new recruits from local universities. They particularly like the computer science course at Imperial College in London, apparently. But what about all this talent coming through? Is there enough of it? And is it finding the right direction? Well, Mafu Sadiq has been finding out. Out there and save the world. Everybody ready to say goodbye to our solar system? We are awed by their gravity-defying splendor. We're here. They keep us on the edge of our seats. We create the world of the dream. They bedazzle us. Visual effects make or break modern Hollywood blockbusters, but it's Britain, and especially London, that has become the creative epicenter of the visual effects industry that drives these box office successes. As many as 5,000 professionals work in just the animation and visual effects industry. Now, a new two-year qualification is hoping to train the next generation of visual magicians early on. 16-year-olds straight out of their GCSEs. And they seem to know exactly what they want. The industry is a lot different to other industries because I find that it's a lot more free and you can be a lot more expressive with your ideas. Whereas in other kinds of businesses, it's usually quite fixated on a very specific concept. Whereas this, you can literally come up with something brand new that the world hasn't seen. It's being promoted by the government-funded Next Gen Skills Academy. Oscars, BAFTAs, you name it, they've won it. But one of the big players in the industry, Double Negative, are saying there is acute skill shortage in the industry. They're not finding the right kind of people. They're hoping the new course will change that. It would be great to get as many specialised courses going so that we've got people coming in who are able to hit the ground running and, and know exactly what the requirements are of the industry. Um, in the past we've had a lot of people coming from artistic backgrounds where they need to learn the software or people from technical backgrounds who need to learn, learn their artistry. Research from NextGen shows 47% of visual effects companies face a skill shortage. This course is the first step in a, a range of uh, initiatives we're rolling out over the next couple of years to address those skill shortages and make sure that uh, students come through with the right kind of uh, skills and experience. One of the goals of this initiative is to get more young women involved. Of all the applicants this morning, we saw no women though. Mahfouz Sadiq, BBC London News.